there are so, so, so many online coaches now in the online space. There's been an influx of people looking to help people with their health online. Now, that is true. And so the question that we get asked often is, is there enough room for me? Can I still be successful with all these other people that are seemingly doing very similar things? And so the short answer to that is yes. So the big question is how to help experts like you and I generate more income, impact more people, and create businesses that work around their lifestyle and serve their family at the highest possible level. If you want the answer to that question, then you're in the right place at the right time. Whether you're a dietitian, a nutritionist, or a nutrition coach, this is for you. My name is Dr. Javier Carlin, and I want to welcome you to The Practice Revolution. We are a movement that is revolutionizing the way private practices are built so you can practice on your terms. So go ahead and join us and follow along as we learn, apply, and share the top business growth strategies that we're using to grow our own business and to help you grow yours using only the best insights and advice from top industry leaders. So thank you so much for listening. Enjoy the show. What is going on, everyone? Super excited to be here with you today. If you don't know, my name is Javier Carlin. I'm a physical therapist by trade and the co-founder of The Practice Revolution, where we help dietitians and nutrition coaches to replace their income, break free from the nine to five with confidence, and get to the point where they're making six figures and beyond in their private practice. So if that's you, if that's what you want, then you're in the right place. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Today, we are going to be talking about how to separate yourself from the competition. Now, many of you might be realizing that there are so, so, so many online coaches now in the online space, right? Thanks to COVID, there's been an influx of people looking to help people with their health online. Now, that is true, okay? There are more people online than ever before. And so the question that we get asked often is, is there enough room for me? Can I still be successful with all these other people that are seemingly doing very similar things? And so the short answer to that is yes, okay? Yes, there are more online coaches than ever before. And yes, you can still stand out and successfully grow your practice, okay? So if you are... If you were worried about that or unsure, I'm here to tell you that it's okay and that you are going to be able to make something out of yourself, okay? You're going to be able to prove to yourself and to others that you can do this and that you can really, really build a business that sustains your lifestyle and that allows you to have the freedom, flexibility, and the impact that you deserve to have and that you know you can have, okay? So tonight, I'm going to share with you how to separate yourself from the competition. I'm going to show you the three types of markets that you must understand in order to do it successfully. And then I'm going to break down for you the three key words, okay? Three key words that you must understand and implement on in order to actually stand out. So let's go ahead. Let's dive right in. How to separate yourself from the competition. The first thing you need to know is that there are three types of markets Okay, the first type of market is the commodity market. The second type of market that you need to know about is the medium mass market. Okay, and the third type of market that you must know about is the premium value market. Now, I want you to take a guess here, but which one of these three types of markets do you believe that most health professionals fall into? Okay, which one of these three do you feel like most health professionals fall into? Is it the commodity market? Is it the medium mass market or is it the premium value market? Okay, the answer to that question is most of us in health and healthcare are in the commodity market. Now, what does commodity market mean? You might be asking, right? What is What does commodity actually mean? A commodity is something that is easily replaceable by another identical item, okay? A commodity is something that is easily replaceable by another identical item, okay? As a reminder to yourself, don't be a commodity. It's the last thing that you want to do, okay? I'm going to explain what that means and why, all right? So again, most of us in the health industry are in the commodity market. Now, let's break these down, all right? What, is it, what does it actually mean to be in a commodity market? 
What does it actually mean to be in the medium mass market? What does it actually mean to be in the premium value market? And which one should you be in? That's a great question. Okay. So the commodity market, there are uh, three core things that we have to understand. Okay. The price is determined by the competition. Okay. The price is determined by the competition, meaning it is a race to the bottom. All right. You see your competition and what they're charging. You look at their website. Maybe you give them a call and get some different price ranges and you decide, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and charge the same amount. Or, you know what, I'm going to do them one better and I'm going to go, you know, $5 cheaper. Okay. That's what it means to be in a commodity market. You do not want to be in a commodity market. Okay. Here's the second reason. The conversation starts away. Uh, sorry, it starts at the point of sale. And so what that means is that the conversation that you're having with a potential client, okay, that you're going to help through a massive transformation happens at that point of sale, okay? Meaning that you have not been able to build uh, know, like, and trust with this person enough so that they actually want to invest and invest at higher rates with you, okay? And so they don't value your services as much because they see you the same as everyone else. You don't want to be the same as everyone else because you can't literally stand out if you're in the crowd, right? And so one example of this, it's, as if you were going to, let's say, Home Depot, okay? You went to Home Depot, you were going to buy a pack of nails because you had to hang something, you know, on the wall at home, okay? And the nails at Home Depot were a dollar and 50 cents, right? And then you find out that over at Lowe's, okay, another, you know, big chain store, the nails, the same box of nails are a dollar, okay? And so what you decide to do, because you don't have to just get one pack, you have to get maybe like 20 to 50 because you've got this big project that you're working on, right? You decide, you know what, I'm going to go and drive over to Lowe's to get the cheaper set of nails. Because um, at first sight, a nail is a nail, right? Just does, does the exact same thing, right? In your eyes. And so if you're going to get a large amount of these, why not go for the ones that you can get savings on? Right. And so literally in a very real way, you are uh, on a race to the bottom and there's only so low you can go. Right. The lowest you can go is zero. Now, if we flip that around. Right. If we're looking to go up in price and be the most expensive, there's no limit to how expensive you can be. OK, so let that sink in. All right. So that is the first type of market. Now, question for you is, do we want to be in that market? Do we want our competition to force down our prices and let them dictate how much we're worth and what our value is? The answer, I hope, for you is no, okay? You do not want to be a commodity. So here is a visual demonstration of what this means, okay? So let's say there are three dietitians, three, three nutrition coaches, okay? And dietitian number one, all right? They have an initial assessment for $80 and a follow-up for $50, okay? Dietitian number two has an initial assessment for $150 and $115 for their follow-up. And dietitian number three has their initial assessment for $275, okay? And their follow-ups for $130. Now, question for you. If, if everything else remains the same, you don't know anything else about dietitian number one, number two, or number three, which one of these would you choose? Which one of these would you be most likely to choose? Which one of these would your potential clients be most likely to choose? If this is the only information that they had, what do you think? They would choose, more than likely, dietitian number one. Why? Why is that? Because there's nothing else that sets any of them apart except for the price. Okay, so in reality, most people are going to decide who they want to work with in this situation based on the price, because in the absence of value, price is the issue. Okay, and so for those of you that said, oh, you know what, I might go with number two only because, you know, you can't be that great if you are the cheapest. So I'm going to go the safe route and go in the middle. Interesting thought. Right. So if you thought if you were on, on that side and you had that thought, that's very interesting then. Right. Because most people will try and be the, the cheapest 
But then for you, if you if you had that thought, you were like, no, 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 that can't be good, right? Let me go at least one step above because they must be a little bit better, at least, right? And so our, and so inherently, you know that, right? You know that if it's cheap, it can't be good. And so the, do you want that same perception from your potential clients? Oh, this is the cheapest one, right? Maybe I shouldn't go with this one. Let me see who's a little bit more expensive. Okay. And that's why you don't want to be a commodity. Is this making sense so far? If it's making sense, go ahead and put a yes in the chat. Just so I know you got this concept. You really have to understand this. If you not just want to grow your, your business, but also want to help a lot of people because you don't want to be that person that they're like, nope, this person's just like everyone else. And I, you know, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and decide on someone else because I don't see anything here that's different. Okay. You don't want that. So again, when you have a commodity, you are competing on price, okay? And so just to give you a quick example of what that looks like, we have Leslie here. And so Leslie was in the commodity market before she started working with us, okay? Uh, as you can see, she had prices uh, ranging from $4.97 and above, and her prices were actually not that low. But what happened was she had everything listed on her website like this, okay? And what ends up happening, I call this the Amazon effect, right? When you go to Amazon, right? And you have all these different items and prices listed on the website, you're likely, again, going to choose not what's best for you in every single case, but what is the cheapest, okay? And so that was what, that's what was happening here. People were either confused because there was so much information and they just weren't sure which one to decide on because they weren't being directed to the best fit for them. And number two, if they did choose, they would likely, they were most likely to choose the least expensive one. Okay. So, you know, that's, this is where uh, Leslie was before we shifted that for her and helped her shift it right inside of our uh, Freedom Sprint program. We helped her become a premium value market and go into the premium value market. I'm going to show you what that looks like in a moment. Okay. So the second type of market is the medium mass market. In the medium mass market, the price is determined by the cost of goods. The conversation starts just prior to the sale and away from you, and the price is negotiable. Now, in this market, uh, most of you don't have to worry about falling in this market per se, uh, but this is, uh, like I mentioned, determined by the cost of goods. So if you're thinking cars, houses, gas, right, the price of goods uh, determines the price of those items, okay? So for example, uh, in the medium mass, mass market with a car or even with a house, the price is negotiable and the conversation happens away from the person who is selling the house. And you don't want people to basically set the price for you, right? You're the one that uh, has the business here and therefore you know what you need in your life and for your lifestyle, okay? And so you do not wanna be in the medium, that, the medium mass market. Now, the third type of market, okay, that we have is the premium value market. In the premium value market, price is created by the results that you get for people, okay? I'll repeat that. Price is created by the results that you get for people. Now, in the premium value market, the conversation can happen months, it can happen weeks, months, or even years before the sale, okay? Weeks, months, and years before the sale. This means that the people who you're having these conversations with, and when I say conversations, it doesn't necessarily mean that you were talking to them individually one-to-one -one for years, but you they might have seen your content on your social media platforms, on your website, right, for years, okay? They might be receiving your emails for months, okay? And because of that, because of that, there's this level of trust that has been built and this level of value that they've received from you even before they ever purchase anything from you, okay? And, and this is where you get to create your own market, right? This is where you really start to get into that space where you stand out from the competition, where you set yourself apart. And in a moment, I'm gonna show you the three things, the three key things, okay, that you must do. Understanding these concepts, okay, I'm gonna give you the exact three steps you must do, okay, in order to stand out from the competition, all right? And when you're in this premium value market, 
Okay, like I mentioned before, the price is created by the payoff. Think about it this way, right? Uh, this is an example that uh, we mentioned quite a bit. And the example is in the United States, um, a person who has diabetes and needs to manage that diabetes on average incurs about $16,000 uh, to manage uh, that disease, right? And so every single year, by the way, now about 9,500, 9,600 uh, of that is directly attributed to diabetes. Now, over 10 years, that's $96,000, okay, that this person is going to spend and waste on their medications or treatments, et cetera, okay? Now, think about this. If you were able to reverse or minimize the effects, right, and save this person's life and save this person's health, and you charge them $9,600, $9,600 once, so that they wouldn't have to spend almost $100,000 over 10 years, is that worth it? Is that worth it? Yes or no? Yes, 100%, right? They pay you $9,600 once, and it saves them $100,000 over 10 years. And so the price is determined by the payoff, the result you're getting for them. And the result is not just better health, but it's also them saving a ton of money. Okay. And so this is the premium value market. Now, where do you think you need to be? Okay. The commodity market, the media mass market, or the premium value market? Which one of these three should you be in? I'm going to show you a couple examples of what I mean by this. And then I'm going to show you the three things that you must do in order to set yourself apart from everyone else. Okay. Here is Jamie. Jamie's a registered dietitian. She's in the premium value market. And here's what's very interesting about Jamie's story. Okay. She was talking to a potential client and this potential client had three other dietitians in mind, meaning there were three, sorry, two other people. And then three is Jamie that they were considering and working with. Now, here's what you may not know. Jamie was actually the most expensive one. Okay. Most people might have thought, oh, it must have been because she was the cheapest one. Wrong, right? She was actually the most expensive one at $2,900, okay? And what's interesting is the potential client ended up becoming the client of Jamie, even though she was the most expensive. Now, why is this? Because she figured out, right, with our freedom formula method, how to go into the premium value market, okay? And so out of three dietitians, this person chose Jamie and she was the most expensive. Now, I don't want you to end up like the other two dietitians. I want you to be the one that's chosen, okay? But here's a clear example of how putting yourself in this premium value market can set yourself apart and get people to wanna work with you because you're seen as the expert, you're seen as the, the authority and the specialist that can help them to achieve their goals, even if you charge the most. Because if you charge the most, that person on the other side is going to be even more committed because when you pay, you pay more attention. When you pay a lot, you pay even more attention, okay? And so when that happens, people who are paying you are more committed. They get better results because they show up more often. And because they show up and get better results, they're happier, they're healthier, and they tell all their friends about you, about you okay? So that's one example. Here's the second example, going back to Leslie and her story, okay? When she moved to the premium value market, she was quickly able to start progressing in her business. She went from getting zero sales one month to literally the same day that we started working together after our 30-minute coaching session, she was able to make uh, her first sale uh, from after a very long time of, of going dry for almost $3,000, $29.97, okay? A couple months after that, she hit her first 10K month, and then she hit her first $22,000 a month. And it all started by understanding what you're learning right now, which is a premium value market, okay? And making sure that you fall into that category, okay? So now the next thing we're going to cover are the three keys to standing out. All right, this is how you, number one, decide I'm going to be in the premium value market. And number two, these are the action steps that you must take in order to make sure that you stand out from your competition, okay? So the three key words, word number one, it is clear. Number two, it is different, okay? You want to make sure you're different. I'm going to explain what these mean in a moment. 
Okay. And number three is relevant. Okay. You must be relevant in the eyes of your potential customers. Okay. So let's go ahead and break these down one by one. The first one is be clear and provide clarity. Okay. So you want to be clear in your message and provide clarity to those that you are working with. Okay. So how do we do that? Okay. The first thing is and before I explain these for you, I want you to look at this picture here, okay? As you can see, there's this picture where this person has uh, a lens and everything around the lens is blurry, okay? Everything inside the lens is clear, okay? And the reason that it's clear, it's because there's a frame around the lens and there's focus, okay? And so when you're focused, things become more clear. Okay, and this is going to be a, a very, very big key to standing out. Okay, so when you're clear, you have a specific person. Okay, so the first P is a specific person. The second thing is a specific person with a specific problem. And the third thing is a specific promise. Okay, so in order to be clear and provide clarity to the people that you want to work with, okay, you need these three things. You need to be very clear on the person that you want to work with, okay? Whether it's moms, whether it's kiddos, whether it's CrossFit athletes, whether it's, um, you know, uh, postpartum women, okay? You need to be very clear on the person that you're looking to help because when you are clear, that person feels like, wow, this person's a specialist in what they do and I need to work with them. Number two, you have to be very clear on the problem that you're solving for them. Again, if you are a generalist and you're like, I can help you with everything under the sun, they're not going to resonate, okay? There's going to be a disconnect there, and they're going to look for someone that tells them specifically, I can help you lose 20 pounds in three months or in less than three months without giving up the foods that you love. What's the problem there? The problem is they don't want to give up the food they, that they love, but they also want to lose weight. Okay. Very clear problem. And if that person wants that problem solved, they're going to choose that person over. I help you lose weight because that person probably has a previous experience of trying to lose weight and having to risk or, or avoid or get rid of a lot of the things that they enjoyed in life. And the third thing is the promise. So you want to be able to let someone know that you can solve their problem. But on the other side of that, you also want to let them know and be very clear in the promise that you're going to provide them, right? The promise being the result. What do they desire? What are their aspirations? What do they want to get out of working with you? Okay. And so when we're very clear on the promise of what it is that we're doing with someone, they have this clarity and sense of confidence in deciding to work with you. Okay. And so most people out there right now today don't have clarity on the person, the problem, or the promise. Okay. And because of that, they sound and look like everyone else. All right. So that's the first step is be clear. Number two is be different, not better. Okay. Be different, not better. What does this mean? Okay. What does this mean? So number one is you don't want to be an improvement offer. Okay. You do, meaning that you do not want to uh, do what your competition does, but a little bit better. Okay. You want to be different. People love new opportunities. They, they, you know, I think most people, including myself sometimes struggle with shiny object syndrome. And so it doesn't mean that your thing has to be like this new technology that's never been heard of before, but the way you position it needs to be different. Okay. And I'll break this down a little bit more in a second. Okay. So the second thing is you want to have a unique mechanism, meaning uh, it is the unique method that, and your unique way that you take people through that helps them get the end result, okay? And so the unique mechanism, I'm going to break this down and explain to you what that actually looks like, okay, is essentially your process, the process that you take people through. Now, you also want to be able to name your process, okay? So I'm going to give you some quick examples, and um, I'm going to share these with you. So an ordinary uh, improvement offer that most people have uh, that does not allow you to stand out from the competition is something like, we help people lose weight. Sure, you and every single other 
uh, health and nutrition coach and dietitian under the sun. It's not different. Okay. One step above that is we help people lose 20 pounds in 30 days. Okay. Just a bit more specific, whether you agree with it or not, it's just to get the point across. Okay. A uh, third claim could be something like we help people lose 20 pounds in 30 days using intermittent fasting. Okay. So that's the method. Now it's not unique, right? It's a bit more unique than just the first one, but it's, it's still, you know, people understand, inter, most people understand what intermittent fasting is nowadays. They're more sophisticated. Number three now. Okay. This is where you take intermittent fasting and you make it your own. You put a spin on it. Okay. So it could sound something like we help people lose 20 pounds in 30, 30 days using the anabolic, anabolic fasting method. Okay. So sounds different, sounds unique. Okay. Now one level after that, let's go deep here is now using the identity of the person that you want to work with. Okay. And so what I mean by that is the person, right? Being clear on the person. So here's the example. We help Latino single mothers lose 20 pounds in 30 days using the anabolic fasting method, okay? Can you see how that's very clear on the person that we're helping, the problem that we're solving, the promise, and our unique method? No one else has that, right? And so this is how you start to stand out, okay? This is how you start to stand out. And the third method, okay? The third method is maintaining relevance, right? The third key is to maintain relevance. So what does this actually mean? Maintaining relevance, okay, is understanding that people don't just buy what you do and what you help them with, but they buy why you do it, okay? They buy why you do it. And your why is very specific and comes from who you are as a person, okay? They must resonate with who you are as a person. This can include your beliefs, what you believe about the world, what you believe about the industry, what you believe about what's right and what's wrong, and also about your personality, okay? About your personality. So you have to add your own flair. You must be willing and, and able to be yourself, okay? Because people and a specific type of people will be attracted to that. And here's what's interesting. When you, when you be yourself, Okay, you will attract your ideal clients, the people that you enjoy working with that accept you for who you are. Okay, and so this is one of the key things that a lot of people miss. Okay, is maintaining relevance with your audience. All right, because again, your marketing should not just contain what you know, but also what you believe. And people, some people will disagree with you. That's okay right? You don't need everyone to agree with you. And then others will agree with you. They'll stand by you and they'll want to move in that direction with you together. Okay. So that is the third key to standing out, maintaining relevance. With all that said, I hope this was valuable. If you're not sure about how to actually take what you learned today and implement it, in your own business and create a system out of this so that you're able to attract more of your ideal clients so you can grow your practice, be able to get to the point where you've built that confidence to break free from your J-O-B and get to the point where you're making six figures in your business and beyond that. And you have maybe even at it for some time, okay? You've been trying to figure these things out on your own, just like your clients might at first leading them to not getting the results that they want and wasting a whole bunch of time and a whole bunch of money and going through all these different fad diets, right? That just don't work. If you're in that same place and you're sick and tired of having to do that, okay? And you want change, you want something different, or maybe you've already started. Maybe you've already started to gain some traction, but you're wanting to speed up your results, okay? This is what we do. This is what we help you do. If you feel like you're getting lost in this crowd of online coaches, and you want to be able to truly separate yourself from the competition and stand out so that people come to you as the expert, we can help you do this. Okay. We can take the different steps that we showed you today, help you implement it into a system. Okay. That's going to work for you and get you the results that you've been looking for. So if you want support, if you'd like to hear more information about potentially getting our help to see if we're even a good fit, 
go ahead and comment the word support down below. And what we'll do is we'll have a conversation about uh, you and your business and where you're at and see if we could potentially help you. If we can't, we turn away people every single day that we cannot help and that, that are not a good fit for what we do. And we have tons of friends in the industry that we can send your way. Okay. But if you are curious and you would like uh, a proven plan and process to help you implement this and other areas of your business, go ahead and comment the word support. We'll connect and we'll chat for a little bit, see if we could potentially help you. Okay. So hope this was valuable I hope, and we'll talk very soon. Bye. Hey, what's up? Thank you so much for watching the show. I know your time is super valuable and I know that you're here to learn how to grow a successful practice. So I have something special just for you. If you are a health expert who is in business or aspiring to be, and you're curious about how to grow a profitable, impactful practice, you're going to want to pay attention because as a person who is watching the show, I want you to win. So I've created a bundle of resources exclusively for those who are watching The Practice Revolution. So if you are tired of trying to figure out this game of business, marketing, and sales all on your own, and you're ready to implement what's already proven to work, rather than reinventing the wheel, you're going to want to send us a private message on Instagram at The Practice Revolution. And simply just let us know that you watched this show and we'll personally hand over $7,000 worth of trainings, resources, and coaching that is available only for those who are watching this show on YouTube. So if you want to know how to increase your income, impact, and build a practice that works for the lifestyle that you want and that serves your family at the highest level, send us a private message on Instagram at The Practice Revolution. Do it now so you can win big in your practice and in your life. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next show.